right, ladies and gentlemen, I was able to steal away Senior Vice President of Sales, Mike Owen from Light & Wonder. Mike, thanks for taking the time. Of course, thanks uh, for having us. How's OIGA doing for you? When'd you oh, get in? OIGA's a, it's a great show for us. We got in yesterday, uh, did a booth set up over the last few days, so showcasing uh, slot product in here. We're also showcasing some table and tech product out front on the other side. So Mike, you've been all around the territories, California, Florida, you know, it's different in Oklahoma. Explain that, how does Light & Wonder strategy in Oklahoma contribute to the vendors and partnerships that are here? Sure, yeah, what's, what's really nice about working in this territory and with, you know, specifically GCG in the territory is, one, they love the industry. They love the customer base, they've grown up around it. Uh, it's a very evolved market, there's a very evolved player. So similarly, me coming out of California, it's a very similar dynamic. The vendors get along well, the properties get along very well. They have a very robust offering and they're focused on gaming first. Uh, it's not just the resort, it's not just entertainment, it's product, uh, it's players, it's customers. Um, and it's, to be frank, it's fun. It's fun because they love the customer so much and they love the game so much. You know, from top to bottom working with GCG, you can meet their ownership group, you know, through their analysts and their field service groups, they love product and that's fun for us to work with. And how has that changed your relationships with the customers? Because from what I'm hearing, so some of several customers I've talked to today, they love the strategic partnership between having the manufacturer in the same meeting room as a vendor that can provide additional capital outlay and you guys coming together to one, ultimately provide a guest experience. Yeah, it's been really nice because, I mean, the properties have their initiatives, um, but it keeps us focused on the games. It keeps us focused on, you know, delivering the best games to the to the market. And to your point, because they are so invested in product and their properties, like they're generally, you know, first to market with products. They're really game forward. They build a lot of um, effort and energy around new product launches. We've done some really cool ribbon cutting events and first to market, you know, experiences with Dragon Train recently. Uh, so that, I mean, that's, and that's specific again, to Oklahoma. Been fun. Yeah, it's been wow. really fun. Wow, no, that's so cool. It's interesting to understand what maybe that means to market share. You know, you talk about the launch of the Cascada. Was there more reinvestment and market share with Cascada in Oklahoma versus other states? I'd say, yeah, I mean, any of these territories that are product focused, you know, we want to be as best we can to, you know, I mean, ultimately it's, you know, you want to bring the product to market for the customer to experience. And because they're so willing to partner with us and do that, we're excited to do it. Uh, and, you know, most recently we did it with Dragon Train, but like we did it with Cosmic. We're showing Squid Game here, which is a brand new game. So we'll be excited to get that out here too. So, I mean, there's, there's big investments in our, you know, our talent and people, which results in big investments in product. And so this has been a great showcase for us. Tell me about uh, any exciting initiatives coming out of G2E that you can share or new oh, yeah. teasers? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'd say on the slot product side, we're continuing to evolve. You know, what's been a great home run for us has been the Huff and Puff products. So there's, there's some evolution there. We're gonna showcase in a few minutes, we'll go look at Money Mansion, which is an evolution of that product you know, pipeline. We've been really good at focusing on, you know, expanding some of our brand franchises, and that's been thankfully a great one for us. Uh, in our kind of systems or our tech space, we're evolving not just, you know, improving cost and efficiency on the hardware side, but, you know, we're starting to do a lot more in data and analytics. We'll showcase some really cool tech and IP with AI features. So really, you know, focusing on not just bringing out things that are cheaper, faster, better, but also how to help you monetize better, how to help you optimize products better, Huge. and doing it at a cost model that's affordable uh, with a partner you're used to. And so we're really excited about that. And then we're making some real, you know, big changes to our table games business, really bringing down the cost of the equipment. Um, we're doing more on the table with less tech because we're eating up so much of the table. So we're really improving that experience for the operator one, but two for the players. So that's, it's fun. We're just showcasing that just down the hall a little bit. Very cool, Mike. Won't Very give cool. away too many secrets, yeah, but no, G2E, I love it. I'm not even playing the part. Like, G2, this will be my most exciting G2E. Oh, like, this company's exciting. firing, it's exciting. Speaking of a convention-based question, I've been asking this today, and what's the secret to surviving trade shows? Is it naps? Is it comfy shoes? Is it staying away from drinks? You would have the experience and you would know. Any advice to newcomers? Oh, I'd say, um, I'd say, yeah, knowing your product, uh, knowing your customer, and knowing what your customer wants to take out of that time. It's loud, it's noisy, it's busy, people are overwhelmed. I think having a hyper focus on what your customer wants to take away is the most critical thing and making sure they get that. Also, good shoes <laughs> and, uh, and a good diet, yeah. 
Mike's setting us up with Fred, where Fred's gonna show us some of these games. Mike, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. All right, folks. Mike sent us over to check out Squid Game first. And we got Brett Colbert to my left, who you know very well. Brett, Squid yep. Game, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, man. Feeling awesome. Love being here at Owaiga. We are showcasing Squid Game, which just launched uh, two weeks ago. So this is going to be hitting the market uh, all throughout the United States here pretty, pretty closely here. So what we have here with Squid Game is one of the most watched TV shows from Netflix, worldwide phenomenon and we're showing it here on the Cosmic Cabinet. So Squid Game, like I mentioned, is out now. It's on, available on Cosmic, available on the Horizon Cabinet. And this game is absolutely gorgeous. So looking at this, you can kind of see someone left the game. They just got into the free games here. And I want to show you what this game's all about. So with this great sound package, anybody that's seen the TV show is absolutely going to love the artwork here. In the base game, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get those free games. We're trying to collect as many characters as possible, get that uh, main character on, right, on, the, on the fifth reel here, and we're going to go into some of these free games. More importantly, as we're playing the base game, a lot of the cash on real prizes, they, they play uh, left to right here. So as we're playing this, you're going to get that on reel one, reel two, plays left to right. As long as those are uh, connected wins there, you're going to get a lot of big prizes. Now, so, Brett, is this a recommended pod? Yes, it is. So This is a beautiful pod. This is absolutely incredible. So we got really great. Uh, we got LEDs glass. on here. We got the LEDs coming on the backside. You know, full video up, up in the sign package. We have customized lights that we could do here with that plexiglass insert. And more importantly, on that Cosmic cabinet. So you can see here, we have custom uh, trim lighting, which is a really great fiber optic lighting. It has directional lighting. During the bonus, we can actually make it look like it's going up or down. Um, absolutely beautiful cabinet. So Brett, I'm hearing from Netflix season two. Yes, uh, yes. Am I hearing more development coming to we're G2E? Gonna, we're gonna, you know, I hope I hope I got some news on that. Uh, we'll see. So Fair. We're, we're mostly focused here on, on the first one. If it does really well, we would love to bring out a second one if we can, for sure. Well, I know we still got one more product to take us to. Brett, let's go on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Huff and Puff Money Mansion. Brett, what is this? How all is right. this, this new version? This is an all new version of the Huff and Puff franchise. So we have it here on that Cosmic 3 inline bank. It looks absolutely incredible with that sign package. And, and what this game is all about, what we've added is this new light box feature on top. So the big selling point for this is one of the features we've added is we're gonna be able to collect these prizes. Now what you're gonna notice is that all three games, of course, have that feature, but what we're gonna see here is we see one of these values up here on top showing that it was one today. This is a, a, a save state style game that as we're playing and as we win these values, it's gonna be removed from all the other top boxes here throughout the, throughout the bank. So players are able to sit down and really see what, where the money is with their now, chance Now, here. Brett, are these linked together? These are are they linked. standalone? Yes, all linked. these are linked. So you could, this is linked or standalone. We really recommend linking this game because it's a really great chase. And so what we have here is we have three levels, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. Multi-DNOM support. And more importantly, at the, what a lot of players ask me about is we cap that, that huff and puff feature too. That, you know, you get those six hard hats, you go in there, you get the big yeah, bad wolf yeah. uh, interacting with you, upgrading those houses. So let me show you here. Uh, let me show you this new feature that we added. So if you, if you trigger with three deed symbols, we're gonna get this light box uh, mechanic. Wow. It's gonna randomly cycle through all these values here. Always hoping to get that grand level. That's where a lot of the money is. But in this case, we're gonna be major. showing here that, that major level. So the major level here has got some really big uh, cash prizes as with that $1,000 progressive. So he's gonna come in here and he's gonna be removing randomly some of these values. So now we're gonna be playing for $400 and that $1,000 major. Hopefully we're gonna get that major. Ended up coming out with that $400. But what's really cool about showing this is you're gonna see on these other EGMs over here, it goes that $400 away. has been removed. Wow. So that while coming back into the game, that's already been removed. So you're gonna be going after that $500, that major, uh, that major value there. So if you were to win the major, all those values reset. And, and go back to square one, so. Now timeline, are, is it released or? So this is actually passing GLI this week as we speak. I'm wow. hopefully gonna pass uh, tomorrow and we're gonna be launching this uh, around the country uh, near the end, end of the month. End of the month, awesome. Yeah. So G2E, be ready to place your orders, yep. folks. Brett, thanks for taking the time it's today, I appreciate it.